Hi, I'm Terry Tucker, author of Sustainable Excellence, 10 Principles to Leading Your Uncommon and Extraordinary Life, and a featured author in the book Perspectives on Cancer, Stories of Healing, Hope, and Resilience. This is my 150th Sustainable Excellence video. Like so many things in life, I realize some of the videos have been better than others. I appreciate all the comments and feedback you have provided and do my best to incorporate your suggestions where I'm able. I wanna thank you for continuing to follow me as I present these stories in the hope that they help you to learn and grow. If you have stories you'd like to share and that I might record and include on my website and social media links, please reach out at motivationalcheck.com. Today, I'd like to tell you about some of the different types of people you might encounter at meetings or briefings. In his book, Success Secrets, Mark H. McCormick notes that the President of the United States has a fairly complete seating chart of the reporters attending his press conferences, and more importantly, has been briefed on their quirks, interests, and the kind of questions each is likely to ask. McCormick often wished he had a seating chart and was briefed before his meetings. If you aren't well briefed about the meeting attendees, you'll never know why your meetings take so long and aren't productive. To help solve the problem, McCormick lists some of the personality types, and not all of them are bad, to keep an eye on at internal meetings. First are the straight shooters. These are the people who are always honest in their opinions. They have no guile, no hidden agendas. They are valuable at any meeting, but you must protect them. They tend to get smug about truth being the best defense and may create more arguments than they solve. Next are the martyrs. They're good at taking the heat and quickly accepting responsibility when things go wrong. The danger here is that they accept blame too quickly, perhaps even before you've pinned down who or what is really at fault. Next are the poker faces. They keep their ideas to themselves, or maybe they share them with the boss in private after everyone is gone. Whether their suggestions are on target or not, you have to wonder whose team they're playing on. After that are the cheerleaders. They have learned the power of saying, you're right, I never considered that. I like these people. These are followed by the devil's advocates. Everything to them is debatable. The good news is that, like a tenacious prosecutor, they often get to the truth. The bad news is that they take too much time and generate too many casualties. Invite only one of these people per meeting. These are followed by the orators. They begin speaking softly, gathering momentum, and 15 minutes later are still assaulting your ears and insulting everyone's intelligence. These are followed by the destroyers. They can't say no without destroying someone's idea project, or ego. After that are the recliners. They lean back, 
prop their feet up on the table and hunker down for a nice long stay. They're in no hurry to settle the issues. Meet them in the hallway or a room with no chairs. And then finally are the statesmen. They advance themselves or the meeting through careful and shrewd handling of people. Theoretically, this should be you. Leave me a comment about your thoughts on the types of people you see in meetings and how they positively or negatively impact the outcome. Your opinions and perspectives are valuable and I'd appreciate hearing from you. Also, please head over to motivationalcheck.com to get your daily dose of inspiration and motivation. Thanks for watching. I look forward to sharing another 150 videos with you, and I'll see you next time.